Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're finally going to take a look at some cool audiophile grade cables, interconnect cables. Yes, I know a lot of people are going to start saying, oh my god, snake oil, let's change this video, change channel, get out of here. Okay, in another video, perhaps we'll go more in depth in this topic. But today, for those of you who do trust me and believe in cables, we're going to take a look at the best type of cables without breaking the bank. Different kinds of budget. Okay, guys, let's dive in. Okay guys, so today we're going to take a look at three groups of interconnects hi-fi high fidelity grade cables. A basic group, a mid-range group, we could say, and a top range group, in my opinion. Um I think that cables do have a great impact on the sound. All, all kinds of cables, especially power cables and interconnects. So today we're going to take a look at RCA Classic Unbalanced Interconnects. So let's start immediately. First group, the basic group. I would like to suggest one broad um, label, we could say, one broad production, a recent production of cables. What am I talking about? Well, you're going to see these in all three groups. The recently made created Oyade D Plus series. This in particular is called Class B among the series. And I truly must commit to this brand and to this type of cables because they are truly amazing. Um, now this series, the Class B series, which is recognizable from the green and white cables. As you can see, we have a flat geometry that characterizes all series of this uh, production. I don't know if you know Oyaide. Now, Oyaide is a top notch, one of the best brands, Japan brands, Japanese brands in hi-fi. And they decided, besides all their extra amazing audiophile quality grade uh, components of all types, plugs, connectors, uh, wires, anything you can imagine, top notch, really top notch, they decided to create this series a little more for, I don't want to say mm, budget minded people, but for real life people, I would say. They, uh, they, they claim these are mainly designed for high quality gear in DJ activities. Forget about that. We can use these also in uh, audiophile grade gear, no problem. So for this first group, the basic group, I'm just gonna suggest the uh, Class B series. As you can see, this is not a normal RCA to RCA cable. In fact, the good thing of this group is that you're gonna find all different kinds of cables with XLR for balanced connections, XLR RCA for unbalanced connections. Uh, uh, you also can find these types, the TSC, which is helpful if you're using pro gear. That's why I have these for my uh, for my DAC where I, where I need to connect my microphone, etc. The, 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 the converter. And this is important to have different kinds of cables when you're dealing with pro equipment and they have all different kinds of solutions but apart from that they also have cl classic interconnects rca interconnects and these at the bottom line are very very good now this is ofc copper which means uh oxygen free copper cables very high quality in my opinion, the best of the best is OCC, Ono Continuous Cast, or also called Monocrystal Copper. I did a whole video, actually I almost started this channel thanks to that video, here's a link. Take a look at it if you want to know a little more about this type of copper, which is at the core of all the suggestions I'm going to give you today. The 
best of the best of the best of the best would be silver OCC. But that costs way too much. So I think it's unreal. Plus, I tend to like more the sound of copper than silver. But that's my opinion. So for the first group, I want to highly recommend the Oyade Neo D Plus series class B. Very, very good. These go around, I would say, 30, 40 bucks, 30, 40 dollars, which would go around 30, 30 year more or less. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so for our second group, the mid range group, again, I want to propose another interconnect by this new Oyai de Neo series D. In this case, we're going to take a look at the so called Class A series, which is this one. These are characterized, this type, from this orange uh, type of color. Um, obviously, as you can see, the geometry is still flat, which should, according to them, reduce the inductance and capacitance of the cable. Uh, on these lengths, I don't think that that isn't that much important. In any case, obviously, I'm suggesting these because I really think they're very, very good. Okay, now we're, as I said, in this second section, this higher level. Now the prices are gonna double, more or less. We're around $70, uh, $70, $80. It depends where you get these. Uh, maybe a little more in some cases, it depends. But here, finally, we have uh, OCC copper. Actually, we're using the one, the monocrystal type of copper invented by Oyaide because OCC copper is becoming very rare, it's very difficult to produce uh, and buy it from other, from third parties. So they decided to do their own and actually even the Toonami, their top brands or top cables in the hi-fi sections of Oyaide use this, this type. It's called the 102 SSC type of connect, a conductor and it's very, very good. So I highly suggest this for uh, the mid-range, along with, I also want to suggest another cable from an Italian brand. Uh, this obviously it's going to be hard maybe to find in the US, but you, you know, wh whoever lives in Europe instead is going to benefit from this suggestion. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the mm, label called ReCable, which as I said is based in Italy. And they have this series called, now it's attached, I want to... <laughs> untach it it's too difficult every time uh, we have the series called primus because it should be the uh, introductory series of hi-fi cables what i like about these it's a decent type of cable it has a uh, teflon and it's um um the electric not 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 the whole not the whole cable i wish so mainly in the con in the um, connectors it has their own type of OCC copper, which according to them, it's annealed, so it should be even better, but it is very similar to that type of monocrystal copper. And I must say that the results are very, very interesting. Here, we're going around the same price, more or less 80, $90, it depends. You also obviously find the length, length, even less if you buy like half a meter or one meter or just small measures of measurements of this type of cable. So that could be a great starting point for already an imp a high grade, high fidelity type of cable. I also want to suggest another uh, type of cable, which I do have in my system, although I have an older model. So I, I, I just, I just want to suggest it with its name by Ram Audio. This is an American company, a US based company, which is doing fantastic products. Even in this case, especially the recent release Elite 7 type of cables interconnects, it's very, very good. Those again go uh, at a little higher price. I would say, I wrote something here, around $90. And uh, again, they employ OCC copper. Okay guys, let's proceed. Okay, for our top group of cables, I have two very good suggestions. Try to use these cables for the gear you really care about, okay? So, again, I know I'm repetitive, 
but this is a very good type of cable. Again, we're gonna talk about the D Plus by Oyaide. In this case, we're still in the Neo, Oyaide Neo D Plus series. This type, this cable is the class S, which is the top of this of uh, the series for the analog interconnects. You can recognize it from its uh, purple color. In this case, we have pure annealed, we, so it's a, 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 an evolution of OCC copper. So truly the best of the best. After this, there's only silver. And as I said before, I prefer copper. Plus, uh, it has rhodium and platinum in its connectors. It has Teflon, it has multi strands inside. This is top notch. Among all those, the, the other types of Oyaide I mentioned, and among these three groups. This is one of the best cables. I highly recommend to you. Phenomenal. Together with this, at a step, oh, I'm, I forgot the, the, um, how, how the price. This goes around a little more, obviously, than the other segment, $120, more or less. Do the math for euro. Obviously, it's gonna be a little less, like 100, uh, maybe 90, it depends. There are different offers around. Okay, so for the top of the tops, I'm gonna call in for a Canadian brand. Oh yes. And I have here a brand new pair of analog connectors by this brand, which we're gonna see in a second, because I just ordered one and I said, why don't we open it directly on camera? I'm talking about the Arcadia MK2 by 1877 Fono Zapfino. Zapfino. And as I said, this is a Canadian brand. Very, very interesting. They're making a whole array of incredible products of very high quality. And this is practically the cheapest cable. They, they, they have very high end cables, a little too much for me, I think. I don't wanna flush uh, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in cables, no. We're gonna stay around this, which goes 120, 130, maybe a little more. It depends, again, also from the length, as you can imagine. It comes with this cool little pouch here, almost like an iPod. Inside, we have the cables, designed and engineered in Canada. Canada people, you should be proud. And as you can see here, we have different types of uh, conductors. And here they are. And there's something very special of these cables. Again, as I said, OCC copper, but they do uh, with Teflon insulation, which I think it's the best combination. And uh, there, there is also a series of treatments be be besides high quality materials. I'll try to decode them with you. I don't remember all of them. So uh, PC OCC single crystal copper, ultrasonic seven, processing so they do some kind of ultrasonic processing just go on their site and you'll understand what all this is i don't want to go through in each and every one dielectric high density hpa ptfe plus uh the sh they have it has two types of shielding one is of ofc so oxygen free copper even the second one has an ofc drain different kinds of uh, jackets, isolation, PVC jacket, plus it also the conductors, the connectors, I'm sorry, it's OCC, it says here, plus uh, obviously covered in gold because it would be oxidized, so gold is always a good choice, at least in the outer part, otherwise if it's copper or silver, it's gonna get oxi oxide, and we don't want that. Plus this cable is also cryogenically treated, so it was uh, set at a very low temperature, which again, according to a lot of people, this helps a lot the copper to get nice and soft to achieve a better quality in its transmission. I mean, the list goes on and on. Please check the video description. I'm gonna put all the links so you can go and see all the different characteristics of this type of cable. But trust me guys, this is top notch at an affordable price and all of these cables, according to the employment or your budget simply, are gonna really make your system sing finally. Okay guys, so please write down your suggestions in this price range, more or less, I'm very interested. 
And remember, music is born analog. Ciao!